to follow the teachings of the Quran and we have to follow the Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have to follow, for example, you know, last week there was a video here, a YouTube, okay? Is this brother who's just come now, is put this on. And that video in one day, one and a half day, more than 4,000 people around the world, they have seen it, okay? And brother, amongst the comments, Somebody wrote a Muslim's name and then they, he wrote criticizing me that I don't need to do this. Something like, why am I doing this? Okay. Now, let me give you an example. What did our prophet say? Sunnah is very important. What did our prophet say? He said, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said more than 1400 years ago, preach on my behalf, even if it is one ayah. So if that so-called Muslim, maybe he's not a Muslim, he just wrote a Muslim name to show that the Muslims are divided. Salaam Alaikum, may Allah bless you, give you health, long life, Islamic life. So. If a person comments, sometimes Islamophobic people, they might not be Muslim, but they use Muslim names to try to make people think that these Muslims are not united. These Muslims, they are divided. So a person used the name of a Muslim and he questioned me that, what am I doing? I am not qualified to do it. I shouldn't be doing it. Okay. If I am if I don't do it, who would be standing here? There is no one except me who, at the moment. So in other words, there would be no Muslims speaking. What does it mean? Are there no Muslims in London, in England, in the United Kingdom? There are millions of Muslims in the United Kingdom. So out of millions of Muslims in the United Kingdom, you know, big muscles, Kung Fu, martial arts, nearly seven foot tall, six and a half foot tall, and yet too busy. Don't have time to come here. Don't have time for Dawa. Why too busy? But when somebody is actually trying to do dawah, trying to invite people, then how can a Muslim criticize? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is listening. And the angels are recording. On the day of Qayama, we will be given the book of our deeds. And we will be told, Ikra, read. It will be all there, black and white. So no Muslim can ever criticize. I am from the people of the Sunnah. Okay. We are the majority of the Muslims. We are the Muslims. And what is the Sunnah of all the prophets? The example, all the prophets invited people to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the way of righteousness, to the way of goodness, to the way of that leads to Jannah, paradise, away from bad deeds, away from wrong deeds, try to take us away from Jahannam hell. Try to take us away from the wrong path towards the right path. Those prophets sacrificed their lives. There were thousands of prophets. Some of them, they were killed. Sacrificed their lives. The prophet Zakaria, the prophet Yahya, 
they lost their lives trying to invite people. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he also suffered a lot of things. Why? Because our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was inviting people to the truth, inviting people to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the one and only rightful, truthful Creator. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was uneducated. He was an ummi. He did not go to school. He did not go to college. But what a big miracle. What a big miracle. The Quran, which was revealed to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 114 surahs. Chapters, over 6,000 ayahs, verses, 80,000, 80, more than 80,000 words, more than 323,000 ayahs. You know, there's a big miracle with this Quran. Pick up the Quran in any continent, in any country in the hands of any Muslim, in a Muslim place of worship, in a masjid, or in a public library. The Quran is one and the same. 114 surahs, 80 chapters, 86 surah chapters revealed in Mecca. When the Prophet Muhammad was residing, resident, living in Mecca. 28 surahs of our Quran revealed in Medina, where our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, did hijrah, migrated to. Why? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala commanded the Prophet in the year 622 AD. Why? In Mecca, the Muslims were being killed. In Mecca, the Muslims were being attacked. In Mecca, the Muslims were being injured. But did you know, the Muslims were very few. The Muslims did not fight back. The Muslims were the defenders. Okay. Why has the Quran, why is the Quran same everywhere? Why is the Quran no difference anywhere. The Quran is same because there are many examples in our Quran. Why the Quran is same? For example, in Surah Al Hijr, Surah Al Hijr, the rocky tract, which is Surah chapter number 15, Ayah verse number 9. More than 1400 years ago, as Muslims, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows everything. He knows what happened in the past, anywhere, everywhere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what will happen in the future. Why? He is the creator. He is the all-knowing. He is the all-hearing. He is the all-seeing. In Surah Al Hijr, the Rocky Track, Surah chapter number 15, ayah, verse number 9, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said when the Quran was being revealed, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna nahnu nazzal nazzikra wa inna lahu la hafizun. Arabic, uh, beautiful Arabic language. Your beautiful Arabic language. Allah said, Inna nahnu nazzal, inna nahnu nazzal nazzikra wa inna lahu la hafizun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily, it is He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has revealed this Quran. So Allah is telling us, 
he has revealed this Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he is the guardian of the message. So when the Quran was being revealed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is an example I'm giving you. Why the Quran is the same everywhere? Why hasn't the Quran changed? Why aren't there different versions of the Quran like there are different versions of the Christian Bible, Catholic Bible, 73 books, Protestant Bible, 66 books, Ethiopian, Tiwahido, Christian Bible, 81 books. Different Bibles, different number of books. Bible means book. And in the Bible, they have number of books to make that book the Bible. So Catholic Bible, 73 books. Protestant Bible, 66 books. Our Quran, anywhere, everywhere, 114 surah chapters. Like I already, I don't want to repeat myself. Why it is still the same? Inna nahnu nazzal nazikra wa inna lahu lahafizu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us what the Quran was being revealed. This is a big miracle. It is a small ayah. It is a big miracle. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all knowing. He knew. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He has revealed the Quran and He is the guardian of the Quran. This Quran now can never change. Can I tell you one of the reasons? Who was the first person on earth who knew the Quran by heart? It was our brother. Who was the first person in the world who memorized the Quran by heart? It was our glorious prophet, our honorable prophet, our righteous prophet, our Arabic prophet, our truthful prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our pro a Christian earlier on, he said to me, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he wrote the Quran. No. I have Arab Muslims here. They know it as well. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he never wrote down any part of the Quran. But he dictated to the Sahaba companions who knew how to read and write. Who was near the Prophet. He told them, write this. And the Quran in book form came into being after the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Because so many people became Muslim. So it became necessary to collect the Quran in book form. And now we have the Quran in book form. It is what the Quran in any continent, North America, millions of Muslims, South America, millions of Muslims, Europe, millions of Muslims, Africa, hundreds of millions of Muslims, Asia, hundreds of millions of Muslims, Australasia, around one million Muslims, Europe, around 60, 60, Europe, around 60 million Muslims, all Muslims, Anywhere, everywhere, our Quran we read, whether in the month of Ramadan, any other period, our Quran is the one and same. This is the biggest miracle. It is the only holy book. This Quran is the only book of Revelation out of four books of Revelation that has never been changed. What? Torah, Torah revealed upon the great prophet Musa Islam. Moses, peace be upon him. Changes have been made. It has been changed. There are some differences. The second book of Revelation, the Zabur, Zams, revealed upon the great prophet, great king, 
दाऊद अलीसलाम डेविड पीस भी अपॉन हिम ऑल्सो चेंजेस हैव बीन मेड वर्सेज वर्ड्स हैव बीन टेकन आउट वर्सेज वर्ड्स हैव बीन एडेड इन जेल थर्ड बुक ऑफ रेवल्यूशन थर्ड बुक ऑफ अल्लाह सुबह इन जेल द क्रिस्टन ऑफ द बाइबल इन जेल वेर इज द इन जेल gospel but in every christian bible in the new testament you don't find one gospel you don't find one in jail in jail means gospel you they say gospel we say in jail in the christian bible in the new testament you don't find one gospel how many do you find you find four gospels gospel according to matthew gospel according to mark number 2 gospel according to luke number 3 gospel according to john 4 you take any subject those gospel speak about and you look it up in different gospels for example when they talk about the prophet isa al islam jesus peace be we don't believe isa al islam died no allah subhanahu wa taala raised him up alive but the christians say he was god they say he died and then and then wow well, he died he died on the cross and because he was god death was his own so he rose again that is the great story come forward come forward Roger, come over. I invite you. They won't take you in their camera. Roger, Roger, I am inviting you. Come forward. If you have the truth, be scared of the creator. Don't be scared of the camera. Come forward. Are you scared of God or the cameras? Muslim thugs. You are surrounded by Muslims. yet you are safe why we muslims here we muslims there we muslims everywhere we believe in justice we muslims are not thugs hey roger so are you a christian or are you a coward hey roger roger are you a christian or a coward He says he's scared of Muslim thugs. Do I look like a thug to you? This is speaker's corner. This is not thug's corner. So I am not a thug. I'm a speaker. Okay, sister. Okay, anyway, I'll carry on. Okay. Allah Hu Akbar. So our Quran, one and the same, everywhere. and as muslims there are two things which we believe in there are two ways which we have to follow believe what are they our prophet the greatest prophet of all times the prophet for the whole of humanity the prophet for everyone muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam before he passed away he said behind me i leave two things number one the quran which is a book of allah subhanahu wa taala number two the sunnah the example in english arabic sunnah english example the prophet said these two things the quran book of allah subhanahu wa taala and the sunnah my example and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sayings of the prophet he said if you follow these two the quran and the sunnah you will never go astray you will never go wrong 
That's why we Muslims, we follow the Quran. We don't just read it, we believe in it from the beginning to the end. The whole Quran. How can a person become a Muslim? A person has to believe in the Quran. Every surah of the Quran, yes. A Muslim has to believe every ayah of the Quran. Yes. A Muslim has to believe in every word of the Quran. Yes. A Muslim has to believe every letter of the Quran. Yes. From the beginning to the end. Then a person is a Muslim. Otherwise, if there's even small amount of doubt, small amount of disbelief, they can pray five times a day. They can have a bigger beard than mine. They can give lots of charity, but out of Islam. Okay? So this is Islam. The Christian gentleman has gone again. They come and they go. Earlier on, I was speaking with one Christian, the one who just came there, Catholic Christian. Another Christian came, and I think he was a Protestant Christian. He forced his way through, and he started speaking forcefully. So the Catholic Christian went away. Then while the second Christian is speaking, it's on camera, it will come out in YouTube. The third Christian came, and he forced his way through in front of the second Christian. They don't even wait for the other fellow Christian to finish. They go in front of them. And the third Christian, I thought he was a Christian. So I asked him, are you a Christian? He said to me, don't ask me that question. He continued speaking about the Bible, about Jesus. Then again I asked, are you a Christian? I forced myself. He finally said yes. Then I said, oh, okay. I want to ask you a question. You know what he did? He went away. They don't even have the courage. They don't have confidence to face up to questions. Why? Simple, they don't have the answers. And many a times I've asked Christians who themselves come to me to try to debate with me. But finally, when I start asking them questions, some of them, they just say, just pray to God. Just become a Christian. How can somebody become a Christian? You have to answer them. You have to satisfy them. Ah, a Christian. These Christians keep coming and going. Yes, come forward. Again, you are... I can hardly hear you. I'm an old man. That's why I will take your uh, mask off. I tell you what. You know, Muslim women. Yeah, come this side. Okay. Roger. Is your name Roger? Oh, me? Yes. Well, you're thinking one day I'm going to become Christian. Yes. How can I ever do that? La hawla, never, inshallah, never. You know why? Islam is the truth. Islam is not the truth. No, no, it is. Prove it. You can't even prove Jesus was God. What proves to me that Islam is not the truth? If Islam is the truth, the Catholic Church would teach. 
You know why the Catholic Church doesn't tell you that Islam is the truth? Because the Catholic Church will be going out of business. So the Catholic Church is a business church. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Can I ask you this one? Roger, we Muslims, when we use our brain, when we, we Muslims, when we use our common sense, when we use logic, we know, we know God Almighty does not pray. Is that true? No, no. Answer my question. We know that God does not need to pray. Is that true? Yes or no? Not always. Are you telling us sometimes God needs to pray? But Jesus wasn't God. So you said Jesus was God. Okay, uh, Roger, do you pray to God? You pray to God. No, no, Roger. Roger, you pray to God, yes? Does God pray? So what's the difference? between you a Christian and Jesus because you say you pray and you say Jesus prayed. Well, God can't die, can he? Well, did you say God can die? Well, you said God died and because he was God, he became alive again. But God can't die in the first place. So he died. Roger, did the human beings kill God? How can you believe that? Hey, Roger, the human beings who killed Jesus were their creation. So are you telling us creation killed the creator who is more powerful the creator or creation creator is more powerful then how come Roger you said the creator is more powerful yes we Muslims believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more powerful why is God Almighty and you believe the creator God Almighty is all powerful. Is God Almighty more powerful than creation? Then did creation kill God? So that's a contradiction. How can that's very excuse me? Are you a Christian or are you joking? Okay. Roger, we believe there's only one God. So do you believe there's one God? We must say believe one means one. Does one mean one? You say the same things every week, but yet you are wrong. Allah Akbar, I'm going to add in there. I've got to go over there now. I'm going to